So one of the big limitations of using iMovie is just really how you can customize text. And what I'm gonna show you in this video is how easy you can customize text around you in iMovie. I'm gonna show you the process of doing it. it takes one other step and it, it, it's really, really actually pretty easy. So let's get into it. All right, so obviously if you're watching this, you do use iMovie. And one of the key things that you've noticed in, in you know, just using iMovie is gonna be when you wanna actually put text around you, maybe you wanna do lists of text and stuff, you have very kind of, you have a limited number of ways you can do that. They give you text functions inside of iMovie, but they're not really that powerful. They're nowhere close to Final Cut Pro and things. And obviously it's a free video editor iMovie and uh, you can't expect everything. But I'm gonna show you today how you can actually make really cool text around you, all different types of text. And just using one simple technique, let's get into it. It's gonna be a short video. Let's go. All right, so before we get started, the one thing you do need is Keynote. So obviously Keynote's free with an, an, any Mac. So go ahead and download it if you don't have it for some reason, but get Keynote. Um, and then that'll actually help us in this process. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna share my screen and I'm gonna show you just a video sample, like something like this. And I'm gonna show you how I can create custom text around me. So it's really easy using Keynote, just a few steps. So stay tuned, we'll get into it, and then at the end of the video, I'll kind of wrap everything up. All right, so I'm in iMovie right now, and let's just assume that you have a scene like this. You can see it right here. I'm just basically showing some, some products here, like a hard drive and a, and a hub and my iMac. Now, if you have, you know, typically if you're using iMovie, and let me go ahead and just put it there. If you're using iMovie and you go up to like titles up here, uh, you have a lot of different options, but they're not really, you know, you can't do very specific things. For instance, you know, I, you know, if you look over here, let me just find this. You know, this one puts text, obviously, in the lower right-hand corner. You have one that can put text in the upper left-hand corner. You can do some stars and some other things, but you can't really, like, let's say I wanted text here, right there, and I want a text right here, and I want to have, like, an arrow to these two different devices so I can show people what, what the text means. So if I, you know, I point to this thing here and I have text here, point to this thing, I have text here. You can't really do that easily with iMovie. So what I'm going to show you really quickly is how to do that. So here's the scene that I want to go ahead and just describe to, to, to viewers when I'm actually creating a movie. And I want to have arrows and text in here that point to these two different devices. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. All right, so you really have to kind of pre-film this. So if you film something that's moving all over the place, this is gonna be much harder. All I wanna do in my video is just show people these two different products. So I'm gonna probably freeze the frame at that time, put the text in, and then you know obviously they can see what these different products are. So what I wanna do first of all is I wanna pick a, a point in time like I just did that's pretty clear. So there, there's my point in time, it's on the timeline. Then I'm gonna go up to the upper right hand corner and I'm gonna click up here and I'm gonna to go to image and I'm just gonna name it something like test image two or whatever, just something that I can recognize. And I'm gonna save that as a JPEG, and that's the first step in this. So go ahead, it says share successful, saved. Let's go to the second step. All right, for the second step, what you wanna do is open up Keynote, which I have done, and just go to a blank screen. Then what you wanna do is just take that image you just saved, and you can move it over, obviously, onto your Keynote, and it should basically fit in there if you're doing 1080p, so it should fit in there very nicely. So that's, that's, that's one thing that's pretty straightforward and easy. The next thing I wanna do is I actually just go ahead and I put you know, the occupancy level here um, of the image. I'm gonna move it way down so you can actually see through the image, but you can still see enough of it to kind of make a difference there. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and add a shape. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this shape right here, like that. And uh, let me go ahead and pick this green color right here. So, you know, we're going to use a green screen for this. So I'm going to pick that green color, and I'm actually going to put that right over everything here. So I'm just going to cover this entire screen with that green, which is what I want to do. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and right-click. And I want to actually, let me, so send to back. See right there? Go ahead and send this to back. Now you have the green, and now you actually have this image over, over the top of it. So you can actually see the image. All right, so now that you have that set up, now we can go ahead and add our text. So what we wanna do is, let's go up to the top up here, let's click on text. I'm gonna go ahead and just really quickly, I'm gonna change this to white. I want the white text to be on my final image. So I'm gonna go ahead and say SSD drive like this. And, uh, and again, you can do however you wanna do this. In fact, you know, obviously change the, the size and whatever else you wanna do, just like that. And we can add this kind of right here, right? So then let's go ahead and add another text over here. And again, pick the color. I want this to be white again. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this white. Let's go ahead and make this, I forget even what size I used. I'm just gonna pick something close. So then let's go ahead and put hub like that. And we'll move this over here, right? So next thing I wanna do is I wanna take some shapes now. And I can actually take an arrow like this. 
and uh, I want to make this white as well, just because it's going to show up in my my final product better, or my final um, you know movie. And then from here, what I want to do is just flip this right here, just to get this. And we're going to go ahead and, and create this little this little thing here. So hub is right there, right? And SSD drive. Let's go ahead and we'll create. Let's go back to shape and we'll create an arrow. Again, make this. Go to style. We'll make this white, just like that. And then what we're going to do is just the same thing. We're going to arrange it, but we're going to flip it. Oops, flip it that way and then flip it up or down. Actually, you know what? I have to rotate this one. I apologize. So let's go ahead and rotate this the other direction. Uh, actually, this is probably easier. Good enough. So we're going to rotate this and we're going to go like this, just like that, and uh, maybe do something like this. I'm just doing this really quickly, for example, because now you can see how this actually came out. So this is the next step, and then I'm going to show you how to move this into your movie. All right, before we do that, all we have to do is just remove this, this front image here uh, of our computer and everything else and just leave the green and the white. So all I'm going to do is just make sure I select it, click delete on the keyboard, and there we have our slide. It's just right there. And then we go up to Keynote. I'm just going to go um, File and then Export to Images. And uh, let's just go into here. You can make this anything you want, but I'm just going to go Slide 1. I'm sorry, Slide 1. I'm going to export that. It's going to create this image. And then let's go into iMovie and we're going to see how this all fits together. All right, so we're back in iMovie now. And then I'm going to take my slide here. I'm just going to drag it into my file so we actually have the slide on my page now. What we want to do next is we're going to go ahead and take the slide and drag it over to where we want it in this scene, right? So here we are. Here's the scene. Now, two things with this slide that I just dragged in. It's going to be moving because it's like on this, uh, I'll show you up here. It's on Ken Burns. So you just want to do fit. That means it's going to just stay stagnant the whole time, as you can see. That's the first step. Then go ahead and select it again down here. Go back up and see this little icon here. You're going to click on that. Go over to, you know, go past cutaway, go to blue green or green blue screen. Click on that and look at that. So there is the information in our video. Of course, I actually um, took a screenshot of it a little bit differently, but you can see how it's in there while it's, it's still moving. You can see the text. Now, granted, I didn't do this perfectly, but I just want to show you, like, if you were actually filming this, you know, let's say you had something where you weren't moving, you were kind of in a background talking, you could actually easily put that text into your video, have things pointing at things that you, you know, can't really do with iMovie. Super simple, and uh, I really hope that this helps people figure out how to, you know, make their videos more creative and add more text and stuff to videos. So, again... All you have to do is just add that image with the green screen right over it. And of course, mine's not perfect because I was just doing it very quickly. But you get the idea. You know, if you're standing behind a wall and you have text behind you and different boxes popping up and you're not moving that much, it'll, it'll be a much better effect. So anyways, hope it helps you. I just wanted to give kind of a tip here today. All right. So what did you think? Pretty easy, huh? So when you incorporate Keynote into uh, iMovie, it really makes the, the text manipulation very close to Final Cut Pro. There is an extra step involved and it's not nearly as easy, I guess, but it does give you even more, almost, I think, almost more flexibility when you actually incorporate Keynote. So, you know, go ahead and use that process. I mean, there's no need to spend two, three, four hundred bucks on Final Cut Pro if you're doing basic video editing and you really just are interested in just getting some basic text on the screen and just, you don't need anything, just, you know, obviously special effects and stuff. You can even do an iMovie, but if you just want basic text, but you want them in really specific areas of your, your video, this is the easiest method, I think. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm all about is just giving tips like this. So if you guys can subscribe to my channel, I do a lot of Mac product stuff, you know, reviews, and I do some iMovie stuff. I also do PC and any type of technology like hard drives and you name it, mice and everything else. So anyways, please subscribe, help me out. I'll talk to you soon. I do two to three videos a week. Talk to you soon. Peace.